It's like an 18 horse Vanguard here. I know nothing about it. It come out of a machine. Um, you can tell by the greeniness. It's been set in a while. No um, vacuum operated fuel pump. It had a electric fuel pump on this thing. So I think I'll have to drill the valve covers and put a fitting in there somehow and there was a bracket that holds the fuel pump there. I guess I'll make something. First things first though, let's get it to run maybe, huh? Um, I need to check the oil. I think it's full. This orange wire here, if I'm not mistaken, that goes to the kill switch, goes to the coils. This one here by itself, I believe, comes up here to this solenoid and fuel. Which I wish, if I knew what the plug number was, maybe I'll look it up and see if I can find it. If I knew what the plug number was for the older ones, I'd just buy a couple plugs maybe and put in there instead of the solenoid. And then this goes to the charging, to the battery. Looks like it's been a little taped up on the plug wire there. I'll check the oil. I don't know if you guys can see. That oil mark is all the way up to here. Okay, and it's supposed to be down here. Now, it doesn't smell like fuel, though. It looks fairly clean. First thing I thought was fuel, but I smell it, and I cannot smell that fuel. And if it was, you know, that far up on the stick, way past that twist and all, you'd think you'd smell fuel if it was that diluted. I'm going to let some out, and, um... Once it runs and all, I'll change it anyhow. Gotta love it. Just gotta love it. I was gonna take that off with a caressor wrench, see? And, um, that thing looks like rats have been chewing on it or something. Hell yeah. Looks pretty rough. Ain't sure what it is. I think I'm just gonna drain it all out and start over. I usually just go ahead and start them up with whatever oil is in them, but... Drain plug on the other side looks the same way. A little bit better, maybe. I would not doubt that I'm going to have to take the carburetor apart. Because it looks like it's been sitting for a long time. But the oil that I drained out of it, I pulled the spark plug wires off. I don't want to pull the spark plugs. I think I'll get the boroscope and maybe look down in there because if it's full of rust and stuff like that then I'll have to come to a whole new plan but if it looks okay inside the two spark plug holes then we'll have to move on so here's the spark plug where is it? doesn't actually look that bad if anything it looks like it might have been a little lean but it doesn't look like this side at least is an oil burner or nothing RC12 YC. It does make me happy it's not black and carboned up with oil. Now, where did I put my little tool here? Here's this thing here. I don't remember what number it is now, but I'm not all that impressed. First time I had it out. Here we're looking down in the spark plug hole. I see some flash rust and stuff, but nothing terrible. Oh no, ain't that a slight difference? That one's a little black. So is.
and that piston's right up there. Well, let's see that side. Okay, so what I can see on this side here, I got that same little bit of rust. I can see uh, cross hatches. Could one side have been fuel? Yeah, it looks terrible. I think what I'm seeing down there is just a reflection off the piston. I can see honing marks everywhere. Okay, I'm doing a screwdriver. If you have any doubts at all, use something other than a screwdriver. If your piston comes up and he catches that screwdriver and cocks it in the cylinder, it could take the threads out of the spark plug hole. So you could use a plastic straw. What I'm going to do is just, all I'm going to do is turn this up until it's on top dead center. When the screwdriver is high as it will go. Now you're going to be on, or you're going to be a half a turn, or I mean a turn off. So, if I knew where the rest of it was, we would get on with the show, but there it is. Hey boy. I want to get this thing running, but I'm not sure if it will be running today. Because I might end up taking the carburetor. I like to wash it before I start putting it in an engine. But I want to make sure it's good. Now I got this Harbor Freight. And I had to make some adjustments to it because their gauges are crap. You can't even see it. So, I got this up on top of the center. Now one thing you're going to have to do, you're going to have to stop the flywheel from turning probably. Okay? I don't know if I can do that with my foot or not. We're going to run this up until we get up to 70 pounds or so here. If you're right on top dead center, it helps it from trying to turn. So I'm coming out the carburetor. So I'm saying I'm on the wrong stroke. Or the valve's wide open, one of the two. So let me take this out and um, we'll turn it. Turn. Yeah, because I don't have the oil here either. I'll have to go get some oil. But... Okay, there's all the way down. Now it's coming back up. I'm not sure that feels so great. Okay. I might end up having to take some of this apart to look. I try to bore a scope up in the drain for the oil I could, I guess, but I know what'll happen. And that scope will get dirty and we won't see nothing. Let's try this again, see if I can. Okay, let me see if I can turn it. Yeah, it works. 
things off. Now, like I say, both of these are loose, so neither valve should be depressed. I looked, the piston is on top dead center. Yeah, I can already hear her hair coming. That's the exhaust this time. And I see intake. You see, there should be no reason. And those are loose like that. This thing needs a bow job. The tire side just for giggles. Okay, I did the same thing. I put the screwdriver in there. These two are like the other side. They're kind of loose. Now I think the carburetor though on this one. Turn it a little bit just to see what's set up. Ah, oh, ain't gonna let me do it now. All right, so. Yeah, one more thing I want to try, I guess. Now, what I will do is, um, I'm not so worried about the oil because it'll be closed up, but I'll probably put the air cleaner back on it so I can close the um, PVC vent and the carburetor. I'll put the spark plugs back in it, but before I do that, I'm going to squirt some oil in there and roll this thing over several times by hand and try to get the oil coating them cylinders. And then, um, like I say, I don't want to tear into this, try to do valve job right now or nothing because I've got a 14 horse one of these. I need to go see if it's any good. So it's not the video I wanted. But it is what it is. And one last thing, if you put oil in them cylinders and turn that over, be careful, because it will spit up on you. All over my pans. I put some um, chainsaw bar oil in there, because it's real clingy and stuff. And I put a little bit in both cylinders and rolled them over several times, hoping that bar oil clings to the cylinders pretty good. It's all got to be taken apart before I put it in anything anyhow. Because I won't put it in anything with them valves leaking. Oh well. Win some, lose some. Huh?